Coming up next is the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the New York Jets. The Eagles must win their remaining games in order to have any hopes of postseason play. Right now, let's take you out and join Dick Stockton and Matt Millen. It is wet, it is windy, and it is cold at the Meadowlands in East Rutherford, New Jersey, as the Philadelphia Eagles take on the New York Jets. The Jets come in with a record of 1-13. That's the worst record in the NFL. But their head coach, Rich Kotite, is trying to beat the team that dropped him two years ago, the Philadelphia Eagles. Now, the Eagles at 8-6 and six have plenty to play for. Of course, they need this as far as the playoffs are concerned. But, Matt, they have dropped four out of their last five. They were embarrassed a week ago against the Indianapolis Colts, and they need to turn it around in a hurry if they're going to do it. Yeah, they really do. And if they're going to turn it around, it has to start at the top, and that means Ray Rhodes. And Ray Rhodes was really bothered by the game the other night against the Indianapolis Colts. He came back from the game. He went and he watched the tape over and over and over. He said he beat himself up, up and down. He didn't get home till the next night, Friday night. He said he snuck in the house. He tried to creep past his 10-year-old daughter, Raven's door. And he said, Raven said, Daddy? And he turned and said, yeah, baby. He said, you guys stink. <laughs> and he said, that just hit him, you know? And he said, if we're not going to stink in this game, we're going to have to run the football. And Ricky Waters is going to be the guy who's going to have to pound it for us. So I'd expect to see that. <laughs> she is his worst critic, no question about it, young Raven. Meanwhile, the Jets have been a huge disappointment, not only this year, but for many campaigns prior. They've tried a lot of things as far as coaches and general managers have come up empty. But what is their opportunity in this game against the Eagles, man? Well, I think their opportunity boils down to what Rich Kotite said on our pregame show. He said, look, the country doesn't have a really chance to watch our team play. And he said, today, your team, our New York Jets, you go out there and you show the country. Because everybody dogs them, say, ah, they're not as bad as Jets. Jets are terrible. They dog them, but they don't really know. So today, they have an opportunity to show them just exactly what they are. And I would expect that would be a great motivator for them. Well, as they used to say in the old days of baseball, if you're in the neighborhood, come on out. There are plenty of good seats available. And that's the case here at the Meadowlands today. Super Bowl 31.